Correct. And, and like I said, you know, people have to do, you have to stand up for your rights. <laughs> You have to stand up for your rights and stand up for the rights of others. And that's what it amounts to, you know. Otherwise, you won't be the world's finest. And that's what we're about. This man has done so much. And we were talking, like I said, before the, we went on, was the fact about the history of what he's been involved in. And he's familiar with the same kind of things we went through. Because I went through the Chicano movement. I was uh, Mecha chairman. Prior to that, my brother was Umas chairman during the walkouts, the blowouts, as they used to call it. And uh, Sal Castro. God rest his soul, recently passed away. And this guy was the architect of the Chicano, Chicano liberation, the mentality. Because what he yes. did is he freed our minds. See? Now, you know, we're still going to be going to school. You're still going to be going to school. You're still going to be doing what you have to do. Right, Wolfgang? Wolfgang knows that. You go to school, right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> See, you young people, go to school. Free your minds. And that's what Sal Castro fought for. And that's why a young man like this <laughs> is still doing much. it. He's still doing it, you know? <laughs> to have yes. that moment, have that opportunity to be able to do stuff like that. So you got to stick with it, you know? You just can't give it up. And unfortunately, a lot of that history is not in the school books. So this is why your show and shows like yours are so important to keep those memories alive of what was done in the late in the 60s and the 70s and in the 80s. Now... As you probably remember, in those years, we had nobody on the television screen or on the movie screen in terms of uh, professionals, whether doctors or lawyers, teachers. There was very few. It was all pimps, we drug dealers. We have made great progress in 50 years, but progress is slow. We have made progress. We've come a long ways, but we still have a long ways to go. We, we didn't come that far. And I'll tell you honestly, folks, you know what? You had a show called George Lopez's show, and he got replaced by the Geico uh, Caveman <laughs> Insurance Company, and he even said it on the news. He goes, you know what? I can't believe in the 21st century that we have one Chicano has a show, and also he's replaced by two cavemen. And that lasted like about three episodes. But they got rid of him because, see, the thing is that our culture is very diverse. It's very beautiful. It's very colorful, and it has a lot of history. And sometimes people can't, uh, you, like the, the movie says, you can't handle the truth. But, you know, we do a good job. And like I said, this man is a, a prime example of people making it work. Well, thank you very much. You're embarrassing me. You're embarrassing That's all right. Me. You can pay me later. <laughs> 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 I got 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. You know, moving right along next. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, I know. But it's it's a lot of fun to be here with you and with Arena, and I will be there for the Tierra uh, Midnighters and the Chicano concert. Well, Those it's actually great. Ray Carrion, Ray Carrion, the East Los All Stars. Yes, yes, yes. They're, they're great bands. They're great bands. You're gonna love these people, and let me tell you, awesome. You're gonna see Ray Carrion. I know Arena is gonna be here. You're gonna be there, homie. Yes, of course I will. I will. Correct yes. How many? <laughs> yes. How many photos I need to have? <laughs> I know. No. No. Yeah. Like I said, she's like the Santa Claus of you know Almani here now. So I'm looking forward to doing a little bit of dancing there. There'll well, be plenty of dancing, correct? Yes, they will. People will be rocking us right at our sale park on the 24th. And you want to go down there? It's right off Tyler and Avenue. We're gonna have a lot of people coming down there. You're gonna see some of the people here from uh, Almani tonight. For some of the other shows we have, uh, uh, Louis Mendez has his uh, City Lou Sports view we have a uh, healthy with wendy we have uh, maggie's world she'll be down there in fact maggie's gonna be co-hosting me i was gonna have nadine co-host but she's so busy that she might not make it on time so i had to pull up my daughter maggie ramirez to come on we're gonna have uh wen lee she's gonna be coming on down there from uh heart and soul and also from showtime that she they do a, a movie review show so we got a lot of good shows on this channel wonderful and we're going to have you on here, too. Well, I sure want to thank you for having me on tonight. I've enjoyed uh, visiting with you. Well, you're not you're... gone yet. Oh, I see. Okay. How much longer? Well, well we got... I'll save the whole night. <laughs> Diego, did you get his car keys? <laughs> like I asked you. Mr. Miguel, what do you want to say for youngster? Like, what's your word for them? For young people? Yes. Uh, education is one of our keys. Uh, education will open lots of doors, but don't forget where you're from your community, come back and serve, return some of what you uh, learn in the universities. Always remember our culture, our people. We have a beautiful culture as probably as, as well as yours. 
We have extended families. When we get together with my family, you know that it's about 80 of us. We have in, in one volleyball room. tournaments one that, oh my God, each branch, we have four branches in our family, but the family, uh, the traditions that we have are so important. Our culture, to quote Corky Gonzalez in that beautiful poem, I am Joaquin, yeah. our culture has survived. And that yeah. is so beautiful. I will survive. <laughs> That's right. How about what kind of activities would you suggest them today um, to involve so they would know more their culture, community, help the community, do something good so they would feel good. And then uh, with that, that heart, they grow and help. when they grow up, they will help the youngster too. Well, yes, you're talking about maybe mentoring other kids that are younger. And the ones that are at, in high school now, uh, if you can connect with somebody who is already somewhat established that can mentor you, that can take you under his or her wing, that will be an important way by which you can advance and learn more and find someone that you can uh, pattern yourself after who has served and continues to serve. That would be a quick way, kind of thought off of my mind. Thank you so much. Don't you think, Arturo, if we have in a community special organization that we can help the community, like uh, young kids come and help the community, like natures or something to, you know, develop the community. Well, get them going. It's yes. got to get kids involved. That's why we have our I show. Think, yeah, and everybody's I think interested. we can just do that. And then 626. 258-8721 or 8722. If you're interested in interning, you're welcome to come on down here and get involved and do some stuff. Because you know what? I just had a, you know, I had an epiphany. And what it was, I'm thinking about Miguel having his own show. Is that sick? Is that sick? That is really, because you know what? We don't have any legal shows on here. And we need somebody that can at least express or at least, how can I say it? Translate the law. For some of us, because you know, a lot of people out there they don't know, they don't understand from the basics on up. That what do you is, think? Oh, it's, of course, it, it would be my pleasure. It would be my pleasure in terms of maybe even have a person uh, call in, ask questions, uh, because the law is a complicated, complex system that many persons in our community are overwhelmed by, and actually cannot defend themselves against the uh, the the persons in, 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 in society that have most of the power. Exactly. We need to shift that power more towards our community. And that's what I'm trying to do in Whittier, for example. We are bringing, you asked me, who are you suing today? I didn't want to bring <laughs> it up. <laughs> but he brought but, it up anyway. What an attorney. <laughs> but uh, we are going to bring a case, and we've already have told Whittier, because they have an election system that is called an at-large election. Everybody votes for the same candidates, we, and that is a, a system that Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg has recently been quoted as saying. It is discriminatory. It has been used to keep... Uh, African Americans in the South from being elected, and it is being used in the city of Whittier to dilute the vote of the Latino community. In 115 they years, they have one. They have one mayor. In, a, in 115 years, we have been able to elect but one uh, person of Mexican Latin descent. We want to change that. So that is an example, Noreen, of how we can lead and inspire. Uh, the younger people, as well as all segments in our community, to come together to become more politically active because by representation, the resources of the community are distributed amongst everybody instead of just one particular select group that has dominated the city council for so long. There's one council person that has been there for 26 years. Yeah, I heard they built that's the building around That's why we have them, term yeah. limits. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> let me tell you, that's the beauty of being here in El Monte, the Bel Air of the San Gabriel Valley, mm -hmm. is that we have a great city council, a great mayor, Andre Quintero. Uh, all the city council, they're awesome here. You know, they really yes. step up and they work out for the community. They try to do everything they can. Our uh, sponsor, Juventino J. Gomez, we have uh, Vicky Martinez, uh, Norma Macias. I mean, she just got honored as our mayor pro tem. Uh, we have Bart Patel, and of course, like I said, the mayor. We have all these wonderful people here in Almani. I know from Winston's Man Speaks in Whittier, 
it is a, a interesting uh, circumstance out there in a, another I, city. I'm going to give you an example. Andre Quintero, of course, I know him. He was on the board of trustees for the Rio Hondo College right. Board of Trustees. Uh, about 15, 20 years ago, the Rio Hondo Board of Trustees was an at-large election system. Father Carrillo, rest in peace, brought a case, a legal case, and, con and changed that system to districts. Now it is, I believe it's four or five Latinos, Latinas on that board, on that school board. Andre Quintero was on the board before he went to the city council for El Monte. Well, he's an outstanding he's a good man. man. No, he is a great man, you know, and let me tell you. And we're very proud to have him, you know, as our mayor here. Well, you know what? We have to go with some B-roll, and then we'll talk more because I definitely want to have give you a show. And we're also going to pass the papers so we can make uh, Narine an official Chicana. We're going to adopt oh her God. for our culture <laughs> because she's, you know, she's too good to waste. And so we're going to go with some B-roll. We got Wooly Bully. Coming from the Aaron Bully, Ballast. Bully. You remember oh, that? Wow, I should have brought my Bully, dancing Bully, shoes. Yeah, <laughs> from the Aaron Ballesteros <laughs> Love Fest. And we love you, Aaron. I understand you went over there to Manuel's Altepiac. And uh, and we want to shout out to uh, Joey Durant from Manuel's Altepiac. They sponsored our show tonight. And you know what? Joey, you're the world's finest. Let's take it away with some B-roll. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh boy, I love this. You know, this is called life. You know, we're on the air though. Oh. <laughs> that was just an act, and we were doing dramatization here uh, about a reading, possibly because we have "Body Needs" by Serena. How are you doing, Maha? I'm doing fine. Hello, everyone. That, this woman is going to have her own show. She's a regular. She's one of the world's finest. <laughs> Okay, and you know she will be doing that because we're setting up like a uh, a show that has to do with coaching, wellness. We're gonna have like four different life coaches, and of course, this young lady is gonna be the head of the bunch. She'll be coordinating, and we're so proud to have you. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure to be here, and I think it's um, it's my pleasure actually to be able to help our community to have better understanding of the dynamics of relationships. I think that we all need that. Nowadays, they don't teach that in school, and it really helps. Well, you know, it, actually, it does. It does. We're having a problem with the microphone? Which one? I'll just, I'll just Let's check. Okay, back and forth. No See, not even so. She's so I helpful. help you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> 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 See, you know, I'm so lucky. You know, everybody's looking at me and saying, what a lucky devil. And there was two beautiful young ladies next to him. One blonde, one dark. Yeah, <laughs> Don't put You're ideas so in his head. No, let's not start. You're this so is a lucky. family show. <laughs> if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, world's finest. And, uh, you know, otherwise we have Jamie Neary in the box. She is the representative of the FCC, the Federal Communication Nearys. Anyway, so let me tell you, this woman... You got to contact her. Is it okay if I get your number? Yes. Okay. Nice. Let me tell you. Contact her. She is at 562-335-4844. And I'll tell you, because she does, she does do certified massage therapy. And she helped me because I had a real bad problem with um, my sciatica. And she fixed me up. Seriously. One session. Bam. I'm walking again, folks. I can jump over fences, run away. <laughs> so people know that. See, Miguel likes that too. You know, he thinks about. It. He remembers old days when he used to run away, jump over the fences. I That's actually helped out Miguel also. I can tell. Well, you made him like two feet taller. How, how do I get into that? <laughs> he had a back a uh, backache of some sort. I, I it was a while ago. It was maybe about two and a half years ago, and um, I worked on him also. Yeah, I know the feeling. <laughs> I know. Nadine gives me a heartache, but I know, but you can't <laughs> fix that. I give heartache, and she's going to heal it. Yeah. Ah, there Ooh, you go. Very good. Smooth. Someone Smooth. gave you a pain. The other lady helped you out with the pain. So it's like. This, very, very this yeah. is a very painful show. <laughs> Let me tell you. Folks. And if not, there's always Jamie with the world finest chocolates. That's right. Oh, look at <laughs> Jamie's going to come out. Watch. You're going to make her come out. Because Jamie is the world's finest. <laughs> Look at her. Here she popped out. <laughs> we love Jamie. So what's uh, next on the docket? What do you have coming up um, besides our show? Besides our show, well, I always have different variety of uh, clients. I am uh, I do, as most of you guys know, I do astrology readings, and I actually base my, um, my healings on the astrology reading. A lot of people do not understand that astrology is very scientific and based, and it deals with the chemical and physical pulls of the planets and the other luminaries with the Earth. And if you guys understand the magnetic pulls and can understand high tide and low tide of the oceans and can also remember that when, a, when you're standing on a street and a semi goes by you, and you kind of go do that little wave thing, you know, you understand then the idea of how energy affects us. And we are over 70% water. That's if you're hydrated well and you're not drinking your monsters and your Red Bulls. That's another story. Yeah, so, Miguel. <laughs> Miguel, so, Miguel got excited when you say luminaries. He thought of luminarias. <laughs> he's always going, hey, 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 I should stop there. <laughs> Yeah, we'll talk about the Chicano Illuminati later. Ah, <laughs> yeah. So um, with that, uh, using astrology is the bottom line uh, for my healings because in there it tells us the phases of what's going on. So I can tell if um, your, your back pain or if your panic attacks are going to be detrimental, if they're temporary 
or if it's something you need to you control by your own emotions. Also, too, a lot of people don't do not realize that every well, ninety percent because I'm I don't want people to <laughs> say in other words. Uh, at least 90% of our diseases and our pains are actually emotional based. It's even the ones that all of a sudden happen if you fall off a roof and your leg breaks. That's because that leg was already weak. Okay? And when our emotions build up into our meridian system, if you don't know the meridian system, we could talk about that in another show, because of our chakras that are blocked, it makes it weaker and the toxins collect. And so, when we have a disease, either from our organ or pain in the arm or a headache, then it's collected because of our emotional toxins that we have not dealt with and released. And that is very important because nowadays, I'm going through something right now. I just came back from the hospital with my grandmother. Doctors will not bring this up. They will not say, oh, so you've been having kidney problems. Huh? What frustrations have you been dealing? Why are you feeling a lot of resentment? They don't deal with the real soul of the person. They just deal with the physical, and that's going to be temporary. Haven't you ever, guys, noticed that a lot of people, 50% of the people who um, deal with cancer and it goes away, it comes back? Yeah. You know why? Because they have not dealt with the real psychological and emotional issue. And that is no doctor is going to do that around here, not in this country at all. Well, that, okay. you know, that's what I'm saying, that, and that's what it's about. Real quickly, because I know we're going to be running out of time, you got to, what advice can you give this pretty girl? Because I know you read her, you were reading her on break, and we busted you. And <laughs> what can you tell her? Because she's such a sweetheart, but I know she she knew some direction sometimes. Um, well, what I can say, though, is uh, is to continue with your warm heart that really brings in the people and that is what's wonderful and um, that trusting is what's necessary and continues in your business and will help make your business thrive more you know because you treat everybody as if they are part of you and that's what makes it wonderful well thank you so much she it was right it, honestly she nailed <laughs> it, it was right yeah you nailed it you know i'm very interested i have to come and talk to you see, i knew it see there you go honestly it was interesting it was very interesting no, see, was, I mean, let me tell you this it was helpful good. i think it's going to be helpful on every each of us this, this woman to is come very and say people like you it, it is going to be very helpful for us Everybody needs help, I guess, today. <laughs> Everybody's... Well, uh, not me. I'm the world's like, finest. <laughs> yeah, you eat chocolate <laughs> and all, everything in a hill. Well, I say, too, is if we are on this earth, we all have to grow. That's why we're on this earth, to, to deal with uh, certain obstacles and to surmount them, to grow past them, because otherwise our soul's not going to get to the next uh, conscious level. So... By being here and making a uh, effort, a conscious effort of moving forward, not just like bullying forward, but moving forward in a way that is very universal love and being um, kind with others, but also to grow helps us all grow. And give that it, is very necessary. Give out the number again, Miha. Yes. Give the um, number. The phone number is 562-335-4844. Four four again five six two three three five four eight four four and a website that they can get and check. My website is Celestial Soul Wellness, just like the name of our business. We are family run of three generations. Thank you and so much. Beautiful people. Let me tell you, I can attest to that. Okay, so we want to thank once again. You know, you're going to see this lady quite often here. So this is Elmai tonight. Almost the world's finest. I want to thank Miguel for coming on the show. You know, he's going to have a show. Uh, this young lady's going to have a show. We're going to have Jamie Neary. Be, stay tuned for the Jamie Neary show that will be coming up real soon here on beautiful Almani Tonight Television, Lion Vision, Almani TV, Channel 3, Time Warner, and on YouTube. So I want to thank everybody out there. I want to thank all the people in the auto-control room. Once again, Jamie Neary, Diego, and, of course, our little Valerie out there on Ustream. So till we see you once again, be good. Do not drink and drive. Almani tonight, we're going to be on location in two weeks, the 24th, over at Arceo Park, the Ray Carrion East Los All-Stars. So be there. You can see us here in person. So take care, and God bless. Thank you. Let's Thank you for everyone.